All right, we're going to teach you an advanced version of Aloha, the classic Hawaiian ukulele song. And after we'll try to break it down and see if we can make it uh, easier, easier to learn. Right, here we go. Okay, first a word about the song. The song is in the key of G, and uh, it's really only got three chords. It's got it's got G and C and D7, which is the three basic chords in the key of G. The arrangement of it is it has two sections. It has an A section and a B section, and what we do is we do the A section once, and then we do the B section twice, uh, which is kind of unusual. Not, not a lot of songs uh, do that. Uh, the B section is what we all recognize. That's, that's the part that goes. As a matter of fact, whenever you look into the daily, the daily ukulele book, it only has the chords. It doesn't, it doesn't even have the A section. But I, I put in the A section here. So you're, you should see a graphic about now. And uh, this is the first line. First, just make a G chord. And you're going to go like this. And then all the notes. Then the first string open. Then we go to C. Then I just take my first finger and kind of slide down. And then I'm back to the G, but only two notes here. There you go. So that's, that's, that's the first graphic you see right there. Again, G, first string open, C, second, third, and fourth string. Don't hit the first string. Then G. Now you have the second and the next graphic you see there. There's a D7 like this. All four strings. Then your pinky catches that second string, fourth fret. Then that D7 again. Then you reach over here and get your first string, second fret, and third fret, second fret, back to D7. So that whole line was just D7. Then on the next graphic you see about here, you're going to go back to G. That's all just a G chord. First string open. There's that C again. Second string, second fret, third fret, third string, fourth fret. And there's that little G, that little two note G chord. Fourth and third string only. Now the next graphic, you've got second string three, two, and a C by only hitting, all you have to do is hit these three strings open. And the first string open. Second string, third fret. And then you're back to D7 like this. First string, second fret. And then we've got G again, but I'm doing it a little different than I did before. Notice I've got my second finger here, first finger there, third finger there. As a matter of fact, if you cover these three and, and, and those, we're going to do a lot of variations of that chord. Sometimes we only hit the first two strings, sometimes we hit the second and third, other times we only hit the fourth and the third. Alright? So, then I have, then we go into the famous B section, which is really nothing but a C chord. Again, I can cover all four strings, but I'm only hitting the fourth and third, then the third and second, then the first and second. Then the second string open, 
And then I go back to this G chord again, like I just showed you, but only hit the second, third, but only hit the third and fourth string, only hit the third and fourth string, then only hit the second and third. Now let's go to the next graphic. I hit the first two. Still got that G. Then I hit the, then I go back to a D7, hit the, but don't, don't hit the first string, just hit three strings. And second string, first fret, second fret, third fret, back to D7 again, but hit all four this time. Put your first finger on the third fret there, and then you're back to the G. First string open. And here's a G7 like this. Okay. Then the third string, second fret, back to C again. Only hit the fourth and third, third and second, first and second, second string open, back to the G chord, fourth and third only, second and third only, first two only, second string, second, second string, third, second string, third fret, and then you have a D7 in the third fret, and then you, then here's a D13. This is kind of a funny chord. You cover these two strings, hit three strings only, your third string's open. First string open, second string, second fret, then the second fret on the third string, and then back to G. Then it just repeats the B section. And it's just a G chord. D7. D7, just a different way of doing it. G, G7, C again, only two strings, back to the second, third, G, only two strings, fourth and third, second and third, first two, D7, and then there's that A, D13 again. G. There you go. Now, something that I didn't show you, I threw, whenever I did the original version in the beginning of the video, I threw in a couple of Hendrix type riffs. I actually learned that from Jimi Hendrix. It's just, I've got just the G and I go. See, I've got that. I do a little, the first thing is there, second thing is here. I hammer with my ring finger on the second to the fourth. I bet you you didn't even know Jimi Hendrix played ukulele, did you? <laughs> he didn't. Okay, there it is. If this has been uh, something that's good for you, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Those thumbs ups what what uh, tells us what people like and uh, encourages us to do more. When we see a lot of thumbs up, we do keep doing stuff like that. Otherwise, we don't. Anyway, thanks.